Hi guys, this is a little instructional video on how to inject your semaglutide. Uh, you're gonna get your medication in the mail. It's gonna come with an ice pack and this blue bag which has your vial of medication. Make sure you put it in the fridge, it needs to stay in the fridge. When it's time to inject the medication, you're gonna take it out of the blue bag. Your dosing instructions are on the blue bag, so you wanna pay attention to that. Go ahead and sanitize your hands with san hand sanitizer or wash your hands thoroughly. Now we wanna make sure we use an insulin syringe for this. Uh, it already has the needle on it. We don't wanna do any switching of needles. You can remove the cap at the bottom of the syringe, get your alcohol pad, and you're gonna swab the port to make sure all of that is clean. Now it's time to inject the medication. So you're gonna take the cap off the needle, go ahead and stick the needle into the port of the vial and then invert the vial so you can get the medication more easily. This medication is quite thick, so be patient when pulling it up. Um, I usually pull it up a little bit past uh, the dosage instructions and then push the medication back into the vial to eliminate any air bubbles in the syringe. Now, please remember with this, you are only getting a small amount of this medication to begin with. These are very small doses, so don't panic uh, when the vial looks like it hardly has any medication in the vial. That is uh, the appropriate dose. Um, and try not to waste any of this medication. You don't get a lot of extra, so be very, very careful just to give yourself that correct amount and don't waste any medication. Okay guys, remember again with the dosing instructions, this is going to vary. You have to look at your blue bag and see how many units it's telling you to inject. If you're using an insulin syringe, it's very, very straightforward as to how many you should inject. Now it's time to inject into um, the area. We can do the abdomen about two inches away from the belly button. You can also inject the back of the arms or the thighs as long as it's in the subcutaneous tissue. You don't need a band-aid for this. There is no bleeding and it is very minimal pain. Just insert the needle pretty quickly into the tissue. And we're all done. Please reach out if you have any questions.